Hi, in this video I want to show you a college algebra book I have. It is called College Algebra and was written by Paul A. White. Um, this is an older book published by Dickinson. I'm going to give it a whiff here. Just, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty nice. Got a classic scent on this one. Some of my other books, some, some books don't have uh, good scents. Belmont, California. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Here's a copyright. So this must be the third edition. Right? We have 65, 66, and 67. Perhaps. The purpose of this book is to present the traditional topics of college algebra in a modern manner. All right. And then let's take a quick look at the contents. We have sets. So it starts with sets. This is a uh, uh, a little bit different than a lot of the newer college algebra books. I taught, I've taught um, multiple, multiple courses of college algebra in college, um, like 12 years. And let me just say, this book is very different uh, from, from the modern books. This one has answers to the odd number problems. And I want to emphasize that this particular book has pretty much all the topics that you need in a modern college algebra course, but it has extra stuff. So it's like, you know, it has stuff that you might not see in college algebra. But a lot of these things that you don't see in college algebra, you see in pre-calc. So like a lot of these would be pre-calculus topics, right? Like when I've taught pre-calculus, these are the topics that are covered in a pre-calc class. This is taught in pre-calc and college algebra. This is taught in college algebra, typically college algebra. Um, college algebra, the vector stuff is taught, uh, well, this, stuff, this is easy vector stuff, yeah. So college algebra, linear equations, inequalities, yeah. Actually, the vector stuff, see, the thing with the vector stuff is it's typically taught in like trig. It just depends. Some people will cover it in, in pre-calc. And then this other stuff here is going to be uh, college algebra. So that's how the contents relate to the contents today. So, because it's an older book, so you gotta know like what, what's what, right? So, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, look, some writing in the book. Yeah, it's an older book. Anyways, I just wanted to show you this book for my collection. You can use it for self-study. Uh, it's got answers uh, to the odd number problems in the back of the book. I'll keep this video short, uh, but you can see it's, it's a great book. It's awesome, I recommend it. Take care.